Design Machine Geek for being uh, here tonight for that wonderful course, which we are very happy to, to promote. I'm really privileged to have such a great team working with me for so many years. I would like to introduce you to head chef of the Great House restaurant in Lavenham, Enrique Bilbo, who has been with me for 23 years. <laughs> Pascal Canavet, head chef at Maison Bleu, has been with me for 18 years. Frédéric Lebrun, head chef at Mariners, who has been with me for 15 years. And we do have our own answer to Nigella Lawson. We call her Noemi Lissima. And she's been with us five years at a great house, second chef. I am doing my duxelle of mushrooms. These mushrooms have been uh, normal butter mushroom, frying pan, a little bit of olive oil, uh, just quickly, and quickly mixed after that, salt, uh, salt and pepper. And then what I've done is, just before uh, I got interrupted, uh, I just put some um, mixture on the pancake. I put the beef, so it's exactly the same size of the, 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 the size of the beef, and I'm doing so it will roll all around the beef. I don't like that picture because, uh, you see, I, I don't know about you, but I don't feel too good, you know what I mean? Straight in Just, the goat cheese. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's very simple, as I say. What you do, you've got now your figs, and you put them like this. It's smelling better with tongue. <laughs> All around. For the chocolate, when you go to mix and the cream, just make sure the gap of the, the temperature, um, there's not a, a, a big gap of temperature, otherwise the, 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 the cream will fell off and, um, and your terrain will be running away. <laughs> a bit of water it will help to stick the clean film. What I'm going to do is a, a pair. I like the pear cut long like this. I find myself. What I forgot to say is the fact that you go and then you put it in the center of the puff pastry, not in the outside. Then you go around like this with the pears, one on top of another. And I kept, obviously, we washed the pear before. <laughs> uh, another layer of skate. Some capers again. And I finish with uh, a layer of skate. And I clean film around it. Yeah, so she prep um, another terrain with some um, weight on it. The terrain to, to make sure it's press. nicely pressed. Yes. Like this. Yes. Thank you. Fantastic. One, two, three, four. I need one more person. One woman. Coming with me? A lady? Yes. Yeah. Come on. Lady. Come. Yes, she's coming with yeah. me. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Okay. Ready? Go. 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 Let's 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 go.
There's a few little bits. Wellington. Uh, it might end up as being my Waterloo. So, let's have a look. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to take one fillet here for Pascal, who is going to start a uh, fish uh, dish turbot, as you can, of course. Um, and uh, he's going to start with a, a poached turbot, and he will do a grilled turbot later on. And after that, we'll go with a cod, a whole cod being filleted, and Frederick will do a cod dish. Now you can see the fantastic way. Even a good chef can't do that. Well. <laughs> so I season my, uh, my fish on the both sides. I always start, you got the skin up and the, the meat uh, bone side first because the, the way you're presenting on the plate is always um, the, the meat will attach to the bone, so it's nicer. So at least you only want movement like this. Oops, sometimes. The less sometimes. movement you do with the fish, less it will broke up and um, nicer it will keep you. I'm going to show you for the code with uh, cumber because I'm going to make the mix of the cumber and to get very good cumber I mean to use after explaining why after you need to mix so the flour, parmesan and butter and to put in a fridge one two hours so mm -hmm. to get all. When the cumber is all, I'm going to pass on uh, blender processor so to do like semoul, it's getting very more easy to put on top of the cod. So I'm going to show that. Yep. I'm just going to start to put the, the upper half all around the tart, like the, the, sorry, the pan. Like this, without, uh, of course, trying not to burn myself. Like this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank you very much. Okay, so when the, you know, you, you don't hesitate, you need to put a, a nice salmon of apples. My God, 
my camber, I'm going to put in oven about 10 minutes. The, tram, the camber is in oven, I'm going to make the door block. I do that with a cod, but you can do that with salmon, any fish you wish. And there I've left uh, the, um, the top of the upper to cool down a bit before putting the paste. So I'm just going to uh, cover it and do exactly the same thing I did with the, the top plate. And good thing for to give some uh, testing on your fish. It's good to mix a little herbs like uh, parsley, coriander, dill, any herbs you like. Careful to my fish for Yeah, shake it. Don't burn it. Huh? I'll try. <laughs> At least I've got an excuse now. What's the pan? Unstick pan. Okay, and now I'm going to, um, to cook the tart so in the oven at 180 degrees. There you are. So, chestnut uh, and set turbo. I'm just put some shallots, butter. And uh, the peas. So it's very simple. I've got some stock, homemade stock, vegetable, and I'm gonna put that in. This is important. You can do the soup with any vegetable. So, so now when it's, it's a, 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 can I carry on? Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> if it's peas, it's a pea soup. If it's broccoli, it's a broccoli soup. If it's carrots, carrot soup. But it's better to do it with green vegetables. Sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, Eric is going to put a little bit of butter in it and mix it slowly. You can do it with the whisk, or you can do it gently with the pan like that, getting warm as well. And a little quail egg. I put the shallots with the chicken liver. And I'm gonna mix. So when you see the bottom of your pan, the top of the egg is gone up to 50, 50 degrees. Now I put uh, the mixture in the tureen. Bit of sea salt on it. And bon appétit! The tureen of uh, uh, chicken livers. That is delicious with uh, sweet chutney, spice chutney, toast, brioche, anything. Uh, it replaces easily a good foie gras 